Many times when I'm teaching, we have an end of semester presentation, or perhaps groups present during the semester together, and I want to string together a bunch of PowerPoints that all have different formatting, different color schemes, and have them retain that formatting that the students intended on including but have them all together in a single file. This is a pretty easy task to accomplish. PowerPoint makes it easy, but not necessarily intuitive to find the menu items. So let's look at how we go about doing this, stringing together various PowerPoints. This is inside of the learning management system, in this case Moodle. We're first going to begin by going to the assignment itself. This is a career goals PowerPoint for this particular example. Once you view the assignment, you'll have the opportunity to view the PowerPoints that the various students have submitted by clicking in the upper right hand corner. From there, we can choose to download all of the PowerPoints that the students have uploaded as a single zipped file. This is a huge time saver. Once the zipped file is on your computer, you can just double click on it and it will extract into a folder by the same name that contains all of the students PowerPoints listed by their names, which is a wonderful time saver when you actually go to start importing each of the PowerPoints into the one that's your master central one. So to begin, you're now going to go into PowerPoint and open up a blank PowerPoint file. I mentioned earlier I like to have just really plain slides in between each one of the students' presentations. So we start by creating a title slide with the name of the class and also the name of the presentation. From there, I insert a new slide that's called a section header. This will be used to include the phrase up next or something like that to indicate that we're moving on to the next person and then have the name of the student who will be the presenter. So this is an example of how I format this slide next up and I always have students sign up for when they want to give their presentations. So in this case the student Brandon is going to have his name underneath where it says next up. So we want to have a bunch of these PowerPoint slides strung together all in one file. So the first slide's the title slide, but then two through however many presenters there are, it should say next up the next student, next up the next student, so on and so forth. So you want to copy and paste the slide a bunch of times and then go back to that sign-in sheet and make sure that there is a separate slide, a plain white slide with that next up with the student's name for each of the students who have signed up. Now we're actually going to go to the first student's slide, number two here, and click right beneath it so that we can insert Brandon's slides right beneath his name slide. So we click there beneath that second slide and we get the cursor blinking there and we go to the new slides arrow, drop down arrow, and choose insert slides from other presentation. At that time, you navigate to wherever the folder is on your computer that you saved earlier with all the students' files on it. And then you click the students, in this case it's Brandon's PowerPoint that he submitted. Make sure that you click Keep Design of Original Slides in the lower left hand corner. That's what tells the system to keep Brandon's formatting and not to use the formatting in the PowerPoint that you've begun creating. From here, choose Insert All and all of Brandon's slides get inserted. We just keep continuing this process down through all of the various students' PowerPoints, choosing New Slide, Insert Slides, and making sure to click that button to keep design of original slides. And that's it. Once you're done, you've got all of the PowerPoints from different students submitted, retained the original formatting that they intended, all strung together in a single PowerPoint file.